Hey there you guys, William here with another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. It, this game is awesome. We just finished the second part of it out of three, I think. Let me check that. Out of three episodes, or three and a half because of the max DLC I got. Yeah, okay, so out of three, we just finished We finished this one, finished this one. Now we gotta start this one. So let's continue with the game. I forgot what we did last episode because, again, I recorded the last two weeks in advance because I was going on a trip before Christmas to visit my grandma in Washington State. And then I came back like Christmas Eve, so I spent sort of the rest of the week with family and stuff. So, it is Sunday the 30th, and I am recording this. So, yeah. Previously, on Life oh, is hey, Strange Before the anyway, Storm. Then. Tell us what happened. I felt so. like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is yeah, a consequence you, of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Oh yeah, the woman that we saw that the dad was looked like looked like that was shitting on. It was Rachel's mom. We're like, what? <laughs> I want to tell you all of it, but are you sure that Chloe should be here for? Chloe stays. Hey. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything. I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Say yes, you dumbass. Chloe. I need you. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Hmm. 
She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. Huh. She was looking for escape. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Oh no. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Huh. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally, but she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all oh, yeah, my people there. she yeah, hurt. Stuff. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Wow. That's awesome, actually. That is quite the story. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I sent her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? 
if that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Huh. That is Rachel. a fair point. I think I need to lie down. I wonder what James is thinking right now. Uh, um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't yeah, want yeah. Rachel to go through any of Is that. Is the power brick to charge my laptop? It gets warm when I, you charge my laptop. I don't understand. Gaming, right? so Are I you like afraid feet, that like Sarah would right do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. Rachel's not well, I got a service block as well. I don't know if I told you guys. Sarah brought it criminals runs, like, and drug dealers into this our one home. Of my laptop, which is nice. And charges it. She put time. Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please. Put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. Oh, why am I but I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Press A, it's not die. <laughs>
I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Again, sorry about my brother. He's sort of in the background playing Madden with his friend. I think he's losing, actually. He's just getting upset. This light needs more light. Huh. I can use the flashlight. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Hey, and it probably happens to be the exact same size. for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Show the stars to Rachel. Check it out. It's hey, hey, hey. beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? Hmm. It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. I'm not sure your dad's your real dad. I can't even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. Yes, you can. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good.
I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. Wait, if it's on a flashlight station or in the that ground, why are the stars spinning? My real mother was gone. Well, why are the stars slowly spinning? You can hear my brother screaming in the background. The fact that she's here right now... That she came here... For me... I think I need to see her? Is that wrong? Honestly... I have no idea what's yeah, right uh, or wrong in this situation. In the hey. I just know that whatever Puzzle you decide... Hey, Drew's on. Oh, I saw that game, oh, Driving Mars, on... Uh, on but what if we can't find What's interesting. Her? Don't own it yet. It's not like I can ask my dad. <laughs> I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> Really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her... How will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. Oh, this is it's almost mind. like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Yeah. What is this? Damn it! Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. 
That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't... you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Like what? There's nothing here. Really? That's odd. Well, I know it's not the spark plug. I just got that replaced. What? I said it's not the spark plug! What is happening right now? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. I, I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh, shit. And he's dead. Oh, uh, yeah. Who the fuck said boo? Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Damn Doesn't it. seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait, David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. 
Come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Me in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. <sighs> that went well. I guess. Hmm. What am I getting myself into? Everything. Hey, that too. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. I wonder if that's the universe where Dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. No, I, I just took pictures of the fucking play on my phone. Let's go down. Oh. I'm not skipping my shower. Oh, we got a shower first. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. <sighs> Score. Hey. Oh, this one, Glory. Glory starts to get her blue hair. So into the shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we yeah, never got around, around to it. Ready for the best shower. Drop the silk. Hey. 
I think I'm gonna leave the episode there. I've been recording for 36 minutes now. Don't know how long the video is gonna be after editing. Probably about 30. Between 33 and 36 minutes, probably. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you like, subscribe, and subscribe to the bell. Awesome, I'll vote. If comment, question, concern, ideas, or conversation, please comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.